going to set the times on this uh, Worcester Comfort One uh, timer. So to do this, we need to put the boiler onto auto. To do that, we go to the central heating side of things, which has got this little symbol here. We hit select until we come to auto, like so. Once we have that up, we need to go into the menu. To get into the menu, we need to hit the menu button here. We hold this in for approximately five seconds. Okay, the screen will change and it will come up with this. Now, we need to click on the heating little icon there. To do that, we use this rounded knob at the front. And we simply click it and it will come up with time program. We then change this by clicking on it and it will give us our days. Now with this controller, we can have it set a set time from Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, or we can set times individually for each day, as you can see. And you do this by just scrolling through, turning the knob clockwise. So let's set a program for Monday to Friday. Have it on the, the display that looks like this. We click that button there, and it will give us a heating time to come on in the morning. So for the purpose of this exercise, we'll say we want the heating to come on at 7 o'clock. We turn that to the 7, click the button, we'll go to the, the seconds, or the minutes I should say, we turn that until we get to two zeros, which is there. Then it gives us an option to turn it off at, at a time in the morning. And we'll leave that as 8.30. It will give us another option now for the boiler to come on in the afternoon. So let's set that to 1.30 in the afternoon. And we'll have it off at 3.30 in the afternoon. Now it also gives us a third option if you wanted to come on during the night. It can be set the same way as before. But if you want to leave it off and not have that third program running, you have it, so you've just got these uh, strokes showing no numbers. Click, click, and then we're set. And it's basically the same setting it for any day that you want. Once these are set, all you need to do is the little back button under the advance. Click that once, twice, three times and it brings you back to the, the main screen. And that's all there is to setting the time on the Worcester Comfort One. Here we have the Worcester thermostat for the, the Comfort One controller. Uh, very simple to use. At the moment, if you have a look at it, uh, the display is showing the temperature of the room that we're in, and it's showing that it's approximately 17 degrees Celsius in this room. To turn the boiler on, we need to have it set above that temperature. So if we turn this knob at the front, let's set it to say 24 degrees. It will flash a couple of times like that. At the moment, it's sending the signal back to the boiler to say there's a, there's a need for heat. Once the boiler fires up, there'll be a flame that will show up on the display to say that the boiler has it ignited. And, uh, normally takes a couple of seconds for it to show up. So now the boiler is ignited, we have a flame displaying on, on this thermostat to let us know that the boiler is alight and the room will be heating up. Now we have this set to 22 and a half degrees. Once this room reaches that temperature of 22 and a half degrees, it will send a signal back to the boiler to say, okay, we're at temperature in the room, you can turn the flame off. Now, to turn the boiler off, all we need to do is turn it down below this room temperature. So we need to go down below 17 degrees. So we'll set it to 14, and it will send a signal back to the boiler 
telling the boiler to turn off. And again, it will take a couple of seconds to relay it back there. So as you can see now, the flame has disappeared off the display and the boiler has been turned off. Uh, and that's basically all there is to operating the thermostat with the comfort one.